I know of a person who was uh, born overseas and uh, he struggles with the concept of the impact of social determinants of health on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander health and well-being. When he himself has had a similar life, as in doing well. So why can't Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people do well? Well, first, I want to say there's an assumption of that. One, the assumption is that all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people haven't learned to adapt to society as what it is today. It's not true. A lot of us have adapted well. And for those that haven't, the, the quick answer to that is because it, I could sit here for two days and tell you it. Watch, I'd tell them to go watch Swimming the River because it sums it up perfectly. The chairman of the One Hand Foundation of the West Kimberley Land Council sums it up perfectly about the impact of colonisation and why a mob are struggling to adapt. Yes, some, like I said, some of us have adapted, but a lot of us still haven't either. But he needs to go, or she needs to go, and watch what those impacts are. You know, system, system, uh, systemic issues that impact on our mob, you know, in government and all that sort of stuff that help keep our mob down, or not so much, well, kept them down as well as made it hard for them to try and to, you know, to adapt into society as we know it today. So. That's, that's the other thing. And we were always beyond the eight ball. You know, we were never allowed at high schools to, until a certain year, you know. So, we, um, you know, we, there's a lot of stuff in that swimming the river that actually explains how much these impacts have had on our people and that adaption process. Mm. But in time, with our help through, you know, AMSs and our holistic model of healthcare, where we address, um, you know, health as well as the social determinants of health, in time, we will ha help all of our mob to adapt. Yeah, I think education is the key. Mm. Our generation, our younger generations, we need to impose that, um, you know, be more strict about making sure our kids go to school every day. Yeah. Education, education, because mm. you cannot get anywhere as an adult in your future if you can't even spell your name or you don't even know your date of birth or you can't read a map, you're lost. Yeah, you know, right. just simple things. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, today I mentioned um, there's only two operational stuff I get involved in, and one of them was the Big Buddy program, our youth program, because I always said that we'll get more traction um, in closing the gaps through intergenerational change than any other sort of activity we do. Mm -hmm. And this other one with the you know the GP training um, program, because it's all about education as well. So education is the key. I was mentored by one of the biggest radicals in Queensland by the name, a man by the name of Bert Button. But before he got out of politics, he actually used to say to us, he used to be out there in the marches and in the sit-ins and government departments, and he, in the end he used to say, the only way we are going to be able to adapt and beat the white man at his game is through education. So whenever he went and spoke to the masses then, it was all about education. Mm -hmm. yeah. Palm Island has um, the, the Shire Council of calendar and dates for um, community, you know, public holidays in in remembrance of the strike '57 and you know other other events that took place. Um, one recent principal who is now gone, he'd always say, "Look, we don't have to close the school for all of those days because some of them are are not as you know." not as strong as, you know, uh, the Magnificent Seven, you know. So there was this conversation with the council and the principal to say, you need to um, take out one of those public holidays because our children are missing school. And I believe that I would agree to that because we are getting public holidays. Strike 57 is coming up on the 10th of June. We get a public holiday this Friday and you think people are going to be down there with the monuments to commemorate those seven men and their families? No. It's a public holiday for the community. They'll be in their boats going out, which is a good thing. They're taking their families out. But we want them to understand why the council has put this holiday in the calendar. We would like to say on the 10th of June, it's a public holiday. And that's the official date when it happened. So 
sometimes um, Shire Council business, you know, overlaps some of our important dates. So they move the dates around as part of the commemoration time. Yeah.